What's his name? Mike. 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 <laughs> yeah. Do you not know each other? <laughs> of course we do. Just find some guy off the street for me? God, this is humiliating. Oh. Why did you go along with that? Because I was told that I'd get a free dinner, which I didn't. <laughs> and that I'd meet a pretty girl, which I did. Do you think that maybe sometime I could, uh... It's okay. <laughs> Go ahead, ask me. I really never have been in a long-term relationship. I've never, I've never lived with a guy. I've never even celebrated an anniversary. So... You know, if that's if that's too weird for you and, and you want to leave, I totally understand. Look, David, if, if you had never left, then yeah, we'd probably still be together right now. But, but you did leave, and I'm I'm with Mike, and I really care about him. <laughs> well, hey, the key works. Um, David and I did used to go out. Years ago, and he lives in Minsk. Here, David, you should just go. <laughs> Take good care of her. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If you if you want your key back, I totally understand. It's never gonna happen again, right? Right, never, never. I swear. So what? I mean, if I can get past that, it shouldn't bother you. And you don't have to like her. You just have to accept the fact that I do. I mean, if you can't even be civil to the woman I love... The woman you what? Yeah, the woman you what? <laughs> the woman I love. I love you. These are my rat babies! <laughs> yeah, we have rat babies now. You must think I'm crazy. No, I think you're sweet. Us living together. You're not expecting a proposal, right? Oh, no, no, not at all. Okay. <laughs> We're just moving in right now. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, well, uh, that's the thing. For me, it's as far as it can ever go. What do you mean? Look, Phoebe, I, I love you very much, but I never want to get married again. Look, Phoebe, it's, it's not about you. I just never want to get married again. Come on, I mean, living together would be great. I mean, you guys have so much fun, and you love Mike. I do love Mike. Ah, see? And you were so excited about moving in together before, and you know what you should be. It's a big deal. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, thanks, this helped, thanks. Just one, one last time, um, the marriage thing, there's no wiggle room, none at all? No, but you don't want to get married either, right? Right. Except that I do want to get married. I haven't exactly had a normal life, and, and I never really felt like I was missing out on anything, but it just it feels like now it's my turn to have some of the regular stuff. If you want to get married, why didn't you say something before? Because I just didn't know how much I wanted it, and I, and I love you, and I wanted to live with you. Yeah, well, I want to live with you, too. I mean, let's do that. But I don't, I don't think I can. It was, it was okay to move in when... I didn't know what was going to happen, but I, I can't move in knowing nothing is ever going to happen. Can you at least try living together? I mean, you might, you might change your mind about marriage. Are you going to change yours? No. Me neither. Um, I think I need to be with someone who wants what I want. But I don't want this to end. I don't want to tan either. I can't believe this is going to end. I've missed you so much. No, I'm not going to ask you to get back together because I know we want different things, but just to be with you one more night. No, I want that too, but is that going to make it too hard? It can't be any harder than this. I mean, if I had known the last time I saw you would be the last time I... I would have stopped to memorize your face, the way you moved, everything about you. If I had known the last time I kissed you would be the last time... I never would have stopped. 
Phoebe. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we're both living in New York, not seeing anyone. That's so not like us. Hey, there's Phoebe. Is that Mike she's with? No, that's David. Now, tomorrow, do you guys want to share a cab to the airport, or should Mike and I just meet you there? Mike? <laughs> Who's Mike? I keep thinking about Mike. I'm crazy about David, and we're having so much fun together. Why? Why do I miss Mike? Dude, why did Phoebe and Mike uh, break up? They, they broke up because Mike didn't want to get married. Hey, what if you just let Phoebe know you'd be open to marriage? That's great. That's, that's great. I'll, I'll propose to her. I can't believe she's going to say yes to David. She's clearly in love with Mike. Oh, my God, Mike. Phoebe, I love you. I mean, I've missed you so much these last few months, and I thought we were apart for a good reason, but then I suddenly realized that there was no reason good enough to keep me from spending the rest of my life with you. Phoebe, will you marry me? No, I love you. I never needed a proposal from you. I just needed to know that we were headed somewhere, you know, that, that we had a future. We can have any future you want. But just so you know, however and whenever you decide to propose, I promise I'll say yes. Whether, whether you know, it's in a basketball game or in sky riding or, you know, like some lame guy in a cheesy movie who hides it in the cake. <laughs> It's in the cake, isn't it? I keep trying to propose in these stupid ways, and all I want to do is tell you that I love you and that I, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And... I'm going to do this now. Oh, my God. Phoebe, I love you. There's no one else in the world who would ask to marry me three times. <laughs> but I want to take care of you. Have babies with you. Will you marry me? Yes. I love you. I love you more. Not possible. <laughs> being here to witness this blessed event. Phoebe and Mike are perfect for each other, and I know I speak for everyone here when I wish them a lifetime of happiness. Who has the rings? When I was growing up, I didn't have a normal mom and dad or a regular family like everybody else. And, and I always knew that something was missing. But now I'm standing here today knowing that I have everything I'm ever going to need. You are my family. husband and wife. Well, I'm no longer Phoebe Buffet. That's great. You changed your name? Yes, I did. Meet Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Nope. You really did that? Yep. No, you, you can't do that. Why? Why? 
It's fun. It's different. No one else has a name like it. All right, then I'm going to change my name. Great. Okay, who are you going to change it to? Crap bag. <laughs> my crap bag? No. No, my... No, just, just crap bag. First name, crap. Last name, bag. <laughs> You're not serious, right? Yeah, I'm serious. It's fun, it's different, no one else has a name like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, then, great! If you love it, I love it. I do love it. And I love your name. I love Princess Consuela. And I love crap. I'll read as a massage client. Oh. Why don't you introduce me? Uh, Rita, this is my husband. Oh. Yeah. Why don't you tell her my name? <laughs> Okay, I will. This is, um, this is my husband, um, Crap Bag. If you need an easy way to remember it, just think of a bag of crap. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh. Okay, fine. You made your point. Can you please just be my hand again again? Only if you'll be Phoebe Buffet. How about, um... How about buffet hand? Really? Yeah. I want one. Oh, yeah? Well, tell me which one. I'll try to slip it in my coat. <laughs> Seriously. You want to make one of those? One? How about a whole bunch? Really? Yeah.